Oh, okay. What Python is, guys? Python is general purpose dynamic type object oriented, interpreted, and famous programming language. And general purpose, what is general purpose? Everywhere Python. Everywhere Python means Python can be utilized in web development. Python can be utilized in data science. Python can be utilized in artificial intelligence. Python can be utilized in blockchain and games, mobile apps, cybersecurity, what not. Everywhere in the world, everywhere in the IT, Python is definitely needed. That is the why reason we are learning Python. So great. And the next one, very important point, dynamic type, no need to define any data type like int, float, char, string, bool. Directly you can give the value for the variable. If I'm going to be giving x is equal to 10, automatically a value is going to be stored in x. It means what? There is one bucket, guys. For this bucket, uh, name is x. And on top of the bucket, inside the bucket, I'm pouring with a value called 10. I'm pouring with the value called 10. Then whenever you are pouring with the value called 10, automatically this X is going to be occupied with the value called 10. Now, 10 is basically integer. Automatically, your X also integer. Automatically, your X also integer. Why? Because of uh, your poured the integer type data, and automatically this X is going to be taking integer. If you pour float value, automatically this will be floating type data. There is one more container. Here we are pouring the value called 10.5. We are pouring the value called 10.5. Obviously, this y, this y is float based on based on data you provided. Variable can take the type. Based on the data, type is taking. That is why we call it dynamic typing. And there is a one more container. This container, I am pouring the value called string suppose abc and pouring the value called abc based on this abc this z is going to be taking as a type string this is going to be taking the string so that's a benefit of python dynamic type programming and interpreted programming try to understand and then i want to go for next concept python is object oriented object oriented nothing but Object oriented programming are actually powerful. You take Java, you take C, you take uh, C sharp, you take PHP. All object oriented programming languages are powerful and reused code you can able to write. Python is following very good benefit called object oriented. Then classes, objects, properties, methods, inheritance, all the things are available. And one more thing the world topmost technologies. The world <clears throat> topmost technologies like AI or data science following Python. Data science depends depends on Python. Why? Because in artificial intelligence and data science, we are going to be writing complex algorithms, big, big complex algorithms. When people are writing complex algorithms, uh, taking a lengthy code, taking writing lengthy code is complex. And people are writing, uh, people are learning this kind of big technologies with a small, simple code called Python. That's what, great. Next, interpreted, executing code line by line. What is compilation? Compilation is where Java is going to be working with a JVM and it is going to be converting into the machine language and executing the output. All the code executes once. All the code executes once. Let me draw the picture for compilation. So whenever you want to draw the picture for compilation, it's very simple. For example, you have the Java code. You have the Java code. For example, you have the Java code. And Java is going to be compiled with JVM, Java Virtual Machine. Java compiles with the JVM, Java Virtual Machine. That is going to be sending or converting Java code into bytecode by the JVM compiler. It is going to be converting into the bytecodes like zeros and ones. And all this code is going to be executing into the your laptop or desktop, whatever it may be the system. This is called compilation. This is called compilation. Compilation is powerful. You can able to find out the compile errors in the compilation. But what interpretation is going to be doing? There's a problem with interpretation. 
in runtime, we can't able to find out uh, compilation issues. The code executes line by line. Finding issues is having a big problem. But anyway, uh, Python is going to be following interpretation with the Python interpreter. There is a Python interpreter. With the Python interpreter, Python is going to be interpreting and giving the output to you. And giving the output to you. This is very, very sharp one. Python is very, very sharp one. It is taking interpretation. It is having less code, simple code, and easy to easy to understand, easy to write. Anybody can able to learn. Finally, finally, uh, interpretation. What is compilation? What is interpretation? Just I written like this. Interpretation is Python code sends to Python interpreter and giving the output. Features of Python. Let me write one by one features of Python. Python have Python. First of all, Python is simple code. Python have big library set like all libraries like NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, and uh, Scikit-learn, TensorFlow, Keras. All these part data science modules, data science libraries. Kiwi basically Kiwi for mobile apps. Kiwi for mobile apps. Whenever you want to develop some mobile application using with Kiwi, you can do. And Django class, both are for web development. Both are for web development. Using Pickinter, you can you can go with uh, and you can do with the uh, GUI graphic user interfaces. Graphic user interfaces you can able to create and PySpark, PySpark for big data. Big data, big data for big data. PySpark is there. Spark Scala is there and PySpark is there. PySpark is very very good in the cloud systems big data systems yeah so anywhere python is there it's good and one more feature python is open source it's free of cost uh, how much time if you want to use you can use there is no need of payment for this python had good good website like readable documentation python having good block support and python is dynamic type no need to worry about the data types python code follows indentation Python have data structures. Comparing to other programming languages, Python is very, 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 very simple. That's it. And Python support with all editors. A lot of editors there are. Notepad, Notepad++, VS Core, Anaconda Navigator, Jupyter. In Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda Navigator is environment. Environment, environment or environment. In this environment, you will be having a lot of Editors included like Spider, Jupyter, VS Code, PyCharm, all these things. And PyCharm is separate IDE. You'll be having PyCharm separate IDE. You can download it in Eclipse, Autumn, Sublime Text. But we will follow. We will follow uh, this one. Anaconda Navigator. Please download and install Anaconda Navigator in your machine. The Anaconda Navigator. Please try to install Anaconda Navigator. So how to install Anaconda Navigator? Let me show. Open Google and find out for Anaconda Navigator download. There you can have individual edition. Go for individual edition. Just go for individual edition and click on download button. That's it. That's it. If you click on download button automatically, one file is going to be getting download to you. After that, click next, next, next and install Anaconda Navigator first of all. When you when you install Anaconda Navigator, then I will I will I will show something now to you. We will be having a desktop. On desktop, I created one folder for you. I created one folder for you here. And here in this today's folder 28, I want to create a new file. Let me go for the new file, create a Python 3. Create a Python 3. This is Python 3 file. And if you want, you can save it. How to save the file? Go to file, save as, save as something like a demo, demo. Don't, don't give any extensions, just give demo. The program file name is demo, save it. Save it, file got saved. Now you can write Python to. Okay. First of all, I'm writing something like a print statement. Print, print, uh, just like a uh, hello, Python. Hello Python, enter. Hello Python, I got output. Hello Python. Just give 2 plus 3. Just give 2 plus 3. 2 plus, 2 plus 3 got printed. 
just give some th some more things. One plus two plus one two three. Now we can do subtraction. Four minus four. Shift enter. Shift enter. Every time you are writing something in cell, you need to give shift enter. When you do shift enter or shift enter or run button, there is one run button available here. Can you see also? You click on run button. You click on run button or you can go with the shift enter. Okay, so 12, 4, I got 8. And let me do the multiplication, 12 into 3. Let me go for the square, 2 to the power of, 2 to the power of 3. I got a cube actually, 2 cube. And uh, I want to go with the square value for this. You can get uh, output immediately. You can get output immediately. This is machine. If this calculation we are going to be giving to the person, he will take a lot of time. But machine is going to be giving you a fraction of seconds. In fraction of seconds. So much benefit with the Python. So much benefit with any programming language. In the same way, Python is Python is working like a calculator. We can do that. Uh, percentile four or five. Okay, so we got output two. Two is the reminder. This is going to be reminder. This is going to be reminder. And this is going to be a power. Power. And this, you know, this is multiplication. Multiplication. And this is going to be, yeah, this is also multiplication. And this is, this is subtraction. This is subtraction. And this is addition. This is addition. So please try to understand all these codes. This is very, very simple. And let me take the code. If you want, you can put into the put into the normal normal editor. Put into the normal editor wherever you want. And uh, all outputs I got. Huh? Okay, don't take like this. Don't take like this. You have to copy paste the code like this. This is code now. We take the code from this and put into this and save it as <clears throat> inside this file dot py dot py is extension whenever you are going to be creating files with the visual studio code py so this is python file and where you have the run button option you can click on run button option we got the output a very simple output hello python hello python and you can write anything name is equal to something like Shivani <coughs> and I want to print the name I can able to print the name directly save it and uh, then click on the run button permissions denied okay fine hmm. click on run button we got the hello python and Shivani this is the pattern for writing code in python Uh, Python comments, variables, a type function, print function, print formatting, and one more is a uh, input function, input function. One more is a uh, casting, type casting, type casting. See all these concepts uh, we will deal with today. The one is comments. What about comments in Python? See any programming language, basically comments are using for commenting the code. In any programming language, comments are using for commenting the code. Any programming language, comments are using for comments are using for commenting code. Second point: commented code will not render an output. Commented code will not will not seen by output and comments are using for comments are using for understand understand code flow comments are using for understand code flow okay. so python there are two type of comments python two type of comments Python two type of 
comments. So the one is a uh, single line comments. The one is multi line comments. Multi line comments. So we will work with the single line comments first. So how about a single line comments in Python? Very simple, straightforward. Single line comments are going to be working with hash symbol. Hash, and you can write a Python code, whatever it is. Second one is a multi line comments. Multi line comments. Multi line comments are going to be working with a two kind of ways. The one is triple single code open triple single code close and inside it you can write a lot of python code lines so i'm writing the first line writing second line writing third line and the next one triple double code open triple double code close one, one way is triple single code open triple single code close and another way is triple double code open triple double code close for line multiple lines of the code Whenever you have multi line code, for that we are going to be giving triple single quotes or triple double quotes. That is the comments. So let's see one simple program about comments, how comments are going to be working in Python. So I'm taking Visual Studio Code. So I hope all of you installed Visual Studio Code properly and then you installed an extension properly called Python. In Visual Studio Code, go to extensions search for python extension install it see after installation i am taking a program just taking new file and this program is about comments so desktop so i have a folder created i think so last class this one huh? okay so this folder i will change the name and i'm creating a new folder so i think uh, Python, where is the Python folder? I think it is. I did not create any folder for Python, I think so. Okay, so let me create a, so I will change this folder for you and create a new folder inside. And this is 22nd, 22nd by four. So <clears throat> I'm going to be preparing the file with the name comments dot py every python file is going to be saving with extension dot py node point node point every python file every python file saved with dot py extension dot py extension so here i'm going to be preparing one python file and I'm going to be writing comments. This is a single line comment. This is a single line comment. So how to write single line comment? For example, if I am writing some print, print uh, hello Python developers. Hello Python developers. So just save it. And run the code. And you can see hello Python developers over there. Okay. I don't want to execute this line. I can give comment. After giving comment, uh, whatever the code you are writing, that will not render in browser. Next, uh, print. Print. Uh, good morning. So I'm writing something like good morning. I'm just copy paste this print multiple times. So now we will be having multiple lines of the code, Python code. I just want to make it comment first three lines. Just go with a triple single code open, triple single code close. Triple single code open, triple single code close. Automatically, the three lines of the code is going to be blocked. It will not run in output. Only one output comes. That is only good morning print. Yeah. So you can see only one good morning. Why? Because of first three lines already commented. First three lines already commented. So this is one. And another way is triple double quotes open, triple double code close. Triple double code open, triple double code close for the comments. That's it. 
this is about comments the next concept after comments we have to go with the variables so creating variables second concept is variables just try to understand how variables will be see variables variable is a storage container storage container and in other programming languages in other programming languages define variable with data type define variable with the data type with the data type but in python but in python to declare variables to declare variables no data type needed no data type needed suppose for example other programming languages like int x is equal to 10 float y is equal to 10.5 bool uh, is graduated is graduated is equal to yes or two. true see this is other programming languages you are going to be defining some variables string name is equal to cjs this is another programming languages and now in python in python directly you can give variable name is equal to value is equal to value directly you can give variable name is equal to value directly you can name is graduated is graduated is equal to true and directly you can give name is equal to seniors there is no need of there is no need of defining data type in python one note point and this notice variable variable name rules and regulations variable name rules what are the different kind of variable name rules the first rule is variable name is custom name custom name whatever the name it is custom name second point is variable name should not start with numbers variable name should not start with numbers suppose for example one name this is going to be wrong and uh, one one emp or 45 emp this is wrong this is wrong <coughs> third point variable name variable name should not should not have spaces spaces see like like first name first space name not possible first uh, last space name not possible this kind of this kind of variable names not allowed in python any programming language not only python any programming language and one more thing is variable name should not contains any special character any special characters so what are that let me go with the special characters all these are special characters right these are the special characters which are not going to be allowed in the python variable name for example first first name not possible first name not possible and this one dollar name not possible next one more point variable name allowed allowed only one special character only one special character called underscore called underscore this one variable name allowed only one special character called underscore 
so that will be something like this first underscore name so this is right right last underscore name is right first okay name one two three name one two three okay right no problem right okay so name one name no problem it will allow right so these are the different kind of ways to define your variables let me check with our different kind of variables now create new program save it as variables variables dot py variables dot py now what i want to do for this let me define one variable name uh, name is equal to something like string was. this is a string if possible print of name okay now i'm trying to working with name one or one name i'm trying to going with the one name one name is not allowing is equal to something like uh, string was again next uh, print uh, one name it is already showing that is error let me let me execute this program save and execute control s control s and click on the play option so you are going to be getting one simple output error syntax error invalid syntax invalid syntax for the one name one name is not possible one name is not possible so this is not working at the same time at the rate name at the rate name is equal to Srinivas. At the rate name is equal to Srinivas. Print at the rate name. Print at the rate name. Yeah. Let me execute it. So, same problem. At the rate name is not possible. Comment it. Okay. So, first name, first space name is equal to Srinivas again. And print of first space name i'm just trying to execute it i'm trying to execute it you can see first name is not possible first name is not possible okay so not installed uh yeah yeah now you can click on this could not install packages due to the environment error permission denied consider using a user option to check the permissions or uh, when you are using pip version 19 however version i'm building pip install upgrade pip. one second i just want to install pip upgradation pip upgrade upgrade Okay, let me go with the continuation. Later we will see that. What is the issue? Editor coming with. Okay, so this is not possible. The possibility is only the possibility is only first one. Down one is not possible. Down one is not possible. So only three is printing. That's fine. See, whenever you are defining some variable names, please be careful. Please be careful. Okay, so now I want to take multiple variables. A is equal to 10. A is equal to 10 print of a print of a this is the kind of integer b is equal to 10.5 print of b this is a kind of float 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 c is equal to string Srinivas. and print c this is a kind of string And D is equal to true. Print D. Print D. This is a kind of this is a kind of Boolean. Boolean. Boolean type of data. Next, E. E is equal to double coded string. So string can be defined with single quotes and double quotes. You can work with a single quotes or you can work with a double quotes. Both will work. Print of E. Yeah, it's work. Next, F is equal to triple single code string. 
this is also called print of f g g is equal to triple double coded string triple double coded string yes possible you can take this triple single quote triple double quote okay print of g h is equal to i will take a list 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 print h it's a kind of list this is a numerical list i i is equal to i just want to take some products apple nexus or samsung whenever you have a string definitely we need to give single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes samsung what is the type of the data print i this is a kind of list again this is a numerical list this is the character list j is equal to parenthesis and take a collection inside parenthesis some collection is there this is the kind of tuple tuple or tuple whatever it may be tuple print j this is the kind of tuple data next <coughs> k k is equal to again i will take a collection Again, I will take a collection. Now, print of K. Print of K. Next, L is equal to. L is equal to. This is a kind of set. L is equal to. I will take a curly braces again. And here, I am going to be writing some name. Srinivas. So, H. 30 and qualification qualification it should be something like mca print l okay so just check it out these are the different kind of variables i'm going to be preparing with and i just want to get the type of the data whenever you want to get the type of the data the third function the third function is just going to be working for type what is the type of the data and before the type i just go with the print how the print is working before that i was i just want to go with type so type of the data i want to check it out this is python predefined function this is python or type is yes go with the type type small letters is python's predefined python's predefined function to get type of the data to get the type of the data now what i want to do for example name is equal to srinivas i just want to check what is the type of the name what is the type of the name finally i can able to get the finally i can able to get the output as String. Let's let's move to the program. Let's move to the program. The same program I'm copying here. Control A, Control C, take new, paste, Control S. Type dot py. Type underscore dot py. Don't give type. Type is function. Function name not a program name function name not a program name just give underscore underscore is just making difference type dot py okay. so what i want to do is what i want to do is i need to go with the type for every every content just print of print of type of print of type of a print of type of a okay i'm writing only for two things you can we can write the remaining things print of type of b print of type of c print of type of d and print of type of e 
print of type of f print of type of g print of type of h print of type of i print of type of j print of type of k print of type of l now finally i just want to run my program after save after save run it okay you can see a lot of uh, types the first one which is going to be integer next one float next one string next one boolean again string 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 then list again list tuple set dictionary the last one is dictionary I got a type of the data. Whatever the type of the data we declared, that type of the data I can able to see. Next, there is a one more function called print function. Fourth one, print function. Print. Okay, so we know already print. What is print? Print is a function, Python predefined function. Print is Python's predefined function to print data or text data or text in output python's predefined function to print data or text in output so writing print is very simple print of single quotes print of double quotes print of triple single quotes and print of triple uh, double quotes triple double quotes triple single quotes available triple double quotes also available for the print just check it out okay i'm saving the nodes to same folder i'm saving nodes to same folder where is the python i created with 6 pm and this one this will be the nodes so later i give the pdf form of the nodes next uh, i want to go with the new program and here i am writing print but before that i just want to save it to printer.py okay, print of single quotes Srinivas. okay so next uh, print of double quotes Srinivas. double quotes uh, lakshmi print of or triple single quotes uh, Rachana print of print of triple double code triple double code so Vasta see Vasta okay fine I just want to print all these things how you can able to see the output of the program save it and run it if you run this okay so i can able to see uh, srinivas lakshmi rachana srivas everything is printing properly everything is printing properly we don't have any uh, problem with the print function okay suppose for example name is equal to srinivas i'm defining with one more time and print of name print of name you can print a name directly or you can go with the format of the name suppose name is the okay, name of the person name of the person is you can go with the you can go with the comma and name comma and name that's it again uh, first name first name is lakshmi and last name, last name is Prasanna. Okay. So I just want to get the full name. Full underscore name is equal to, I can give first name plus last name. First name plus last name. And finally print of full name. Full name of, full name of, 
a person is Come on, full name. Come on, full name. That's it. Enough. So this is the way you have to go with the print. Okay, name of the person is Srinivas. Full name of the person is Lakshmi Prasanna. For this Lakshmi Prasanna, you want to add one more thing. After this, I want to add one more style. Lakshmi uh, star and Prasanna. You can you can do like this. Now you can see output of the program. So Lakshmi start person now. Whatever you want, you can just give. Okay. I just want to print uh, this full name multiple times, for example. I just want to print this full name multiple times. However, you want, you can do that. However, you want, you can do that. This full name I want to print multiple times. How you can do? Take full name, take full name uh, into, into five times. Full name need to be print five times there. Okay, now you go. Now you go and just check it out. Can you see? Observe. Lakshmi Prasanna printing for five times. Lakshmi Prasanna is going to be printing for five times. So later I can able to give you a detailed clarity of the strings, detailed clarity of the list, and set tuple, dictionary, different kind of methods. Also we will see on top of the uh, different kind of objects this is print the next concept is very simple concept uh, print the formatting print the formatting so print the formatting in general way how we can do general way nothing but generally a programmer can write a raw code so general way i'll show this is the general way i'll show and one more is the python way i'll show general way i'll show python way in general way, print formatting, how this is going to be work, first we will see. Later we will go with the Python way, Python process, Python formatting. Okay, let me write a program for the print formatting. So save it as print underscore format one dot py. And this is a general general way. General way. Okay, so let me take name again. Let me take name again. First name is equal to Lakshmi. Uh, last name is equal to person. Okay, now print formatting. Just to just check it out. Print of uh, first name is first name is plus plus first name. So already have the variable created. And uh, and then uh, again again and uh, plus and uh, last name is last name and last name is can you see observe I'm trying to going to be adding with uh, plus symbols with the combination of variables last name is plus last name. Can you see the output of the program? Can you see the output of the program? Uh, first name is Lakshmi and uh, last name is Lakshmi Prasanna. Prasanna. Okay, so can you see the output now? This is the program output. So I got uh, I got complete uh, first name is Lakshmi and last name is Prasanna coming out. But whenever you want to making with additions, first name is our custom string. Custom string added with variable. And again, this variable added with the custom string. And again, that variable added with the variable. Can you see and observe? Can you see and observe? So this is this is first custom string. Then this is the variable. And this is the custom string. And again, this is the variable. We are trying to attaching custom string plus variable plus custom string plus variable number of things we are going to be doing for the printing the particular line a format of the line i just want to print a format of the line i want to print this is the this is the problem so we are working with only two variables that is not a problem in future you are going to be working with uh, uh, 50 variables or 100 variables then 
this formatting is going to be little bit typical this is a code called raw code generic code this is a raw code but we need to follow the python formatting python formatting we will be in the next class we will see in the last class but what you people have to do today is uh, the different kind of statements i will give you in the whatsapp and that statements you work and do practice with the normal format using with the plus using with the plus you do work with a different kind of things so that assignments i am going to be giving you now assignments this is assignment for today assignment in the notes notes itself i am writing the assignment so take a product id 1001 take a product name something like iphone a product price something like a, something like a, a 98000 and finally a location is equal to something like hyderabad so these are the details with this details you can format multiple kind of lines so first one first one i purchased i purchased i purchased iphone in 2022 2022 in hyderabad hyderabad with cost of <clears throat> hyderabad with cost cost of 98000 <coughs> so this is a this is assignment you can do that and you try to create a multiple formats the with using with the four variables you can go with the multiple formats and you take your friends names and uh, you can format the uh, multiple ways all these things i just want to get uh, the outputs for tomorrow that is your assignment please do work hard and i am going to be uploading the video from today in google drive i'll share the link for you guys and you can ping me in the whatsapp and share your email address and i'll give you the notes in the same google drive link bye for today we will meet tomorrow again all the best thank you sir thank you